Why are there exactly 435 members of the House of Representatives? It's not set by the Constitution, but the Permanent Apportionment Act of 1929. Back then, there were fewer than 250,000 people per district. Today, there are nearly three quarters of a million. So it's fair to ask just how representative the House of Representatives actually is. James Madison, the father of the Constitution, would be dubious. The House was to be where the representatives of America, in all its diversity, would come together. But can one person really speak for 750,000? Today's average district is larger than any state back when the Constitution was ratified. So what can we do about that? Madison might suggest increase the size of the House. In Federalist 56, he uses the British House of Commons as a model for the size of the House. Today, the Commons has 650 seats and works reasonably well. So maybe we could add 200 more seats to the House without undermining its ability to legislate. That would make our House and our government more representative. To learn more about my new book, James Madison, America's First Politician, check out the link in the description. Also, let us know what other topics you'd like our scholars to cover in 60 seconds, and be sure to like and subscribe for more research and videos from AEI.